What's happening guys, welcome to the video, I'm Cos of Perks and in this video we'll be covering all the secret hidden rooms, the hidden orbs, there are 13 in total, also the alternate, alternate ending, uh, slash secret ending if you want to call it that, but yeah we'll be covering that as well, also just one thing before the video starts, uh, if you haven't subscribed to me, please subscribe already. That would help me out tremendously. And if you would like the video, that would be grand as well. Just uh, if you wish. No pressure. So, without any further ado, I'd like to get to the first location. See you in a minute. So, number one is when you get chased by the three dogs. Once you jump off the cliff, turn left after you jumped into the sort of lake area. And the old uh, cliche of always check behind a waterfall. <laughs> after in uh, gaming, that will never cease to uh, amaze me how many times there's hidden objects behind sort of cliffs and that. So, yep, yeah, there you go. Here's the first one. You need to rock this sort of bit of timber here goes and we have our first hidden orb right here and just to get out just go back through the way you come number two is in the cornfield right virtually just before the pig farm as you're running through the field the best thing to do to find the secret hatch in this field is to just hold the grab button and as you're running through he'll grab it automatically and just lift up the door climb down the steps <clears throat> turn left and you'll find this little red room and it's just on the other side, right at the end of the wall. Grab it and pull that, whatever it is out, or destroy it, and... Please take note of this little combination thing here, and this door. It is quite important to see the secret ending. But we can't do anything about it yet, because we're only on the second area. Number three can be found after you land on this pile of uh, dead pigs this time we moved the cart to the left hand side you noticed here if you jump on the car and just grab the bit of wood there you'll be able to pull it off climb through and then there's another secret room here full of I don't know whether they're alive or dead pigs to be fair I think they're alive Climb up to the top of this rope, swing, and it's on your left hand side, just across the crossbeam there. There you go, that's number three. He could just come out the way you come. Number four is probably the easiest one to find. I think I actually done it in the playthrough. Just push once you have pushed off the safe, run down through the hole that you've made, and it's just pulled this little grill off here, this little vent, and it's in this room. That is number four. Number five is on the roof top, and you once you climb down and grab onto that sort of uh, gutter in there, uh, climb that right down to the bottom of these step uh, ladders. Sorry, steps, ladders, and uh, it's just sitting at the bottom of the alley, just beneath the building, just there. Climb back up and continue. Number six is when we are sort of in this sort of area you might remember it 
just run along this beam and then it's it's with the submarine so as you run along just swing on that jump through press the button to open the door and through the hole do you remember i got stuck in there in my campaign or in, in my campaign in my playthrough of this game so just jump over and when you're in the submarine go down across to the right and then you come to this door here blast through and when you get to this stairwell just head straight down you can already see the lead there to give you a clue that this is in the right area if you try to push this box it won't happen so you have to blast it over head straight down through the little hole going ever deeper and you will find a room with it's quite a big room actually uh, but it's a bit this is like not an easy one to do really but it's, it's easy but it's not it's not like one of the easiest where they're just in a room and you think uh, you have to actually solve a puzzle to grab this uh, achievement here so all you do is you park your submarine underneath the first mine control unit and jump up the ladder get the other one get to the second mine control unit and use a zombie to climb onto the submarine make sure he don't climb in the submarine like it just happened there jump off the mine control unit get back into the submarine and go underwater not too far you don't need to go too far and jump out once you do that he will get caught on that one jump out the submarine go back up to the top and now you can control the zombie in the background and there is the next orb done and dusted you can continue on with the game from there if you wish number seven is just after you've locked the gill out of the you know that sort of ring woman with the long hair if you remember that it's just after you come so you just go when you jump out of that room you head to the left hand side of this lake and just hit the sort of metal work as you jump out of the water and down drops a sort of area that you can grab onto as you can see I had a bit of trouble with this but there you go there it is this is just before the area with the the sonic boom thing there you go there it is number seven this is number eight this one if you remember rightly was with the dogs but to get into that area first you need to collect these three little helpers up in this uh, sort of cage up up at the top there so I'll show you how to do this little puzzle first spent a bit of time on this one when I was originally playing through it seems so easy now and just jump and grab on to that little lever and then they fall out yeah, you can't get this one without these three helpers so you do need to do the mind control have the little hat thing on the mind control helmet pull the bits of wood away from this wall here climb down and you will reach this torch this is what I sort of didn't grab when I was trying to do this and I thought it was impossible 
Nope, you need to grab the torch and sort of wave it at the uh, dogs as they come at you. You need to be quiet on the ball with this, because as they start running towards you, they will grab you. There you go, look, they've nearly got caught there. And there. But that is number eight. And then just run back out and continue whatever you was doing beforehand. Number nine. You need to be in this sort of area with this sort of vault door. Push your way through the vault door and as you fall in you will meet the girl from the ring. <laughs> or the grudge, whatever takes your fancy. Swim down. I've just pressed this button for the sake of it but you don't really need to. All you really need to do here is get her over to this side of the room. And then run across, jump in the water, and swim to your left. Underneath here is another room. I'd stay quite close to the ceiling if you wish. She will chase you along as you can see she's chasing you now, but she won't be able to catch her. And the ninth one is just here. And for say if you jump back in the water, you can push this little grill out and come back into sort of this area there is a rope you can climb up here number 10 is the after the air sort of time when she sort of kills you and then you get can breathe underwater fully you see that rope down there to the bottom of the screen so that gives you a clue there is one in this area. He really can't swim that fast. I have sped up the video just a tad to make this. Because it's uh, quite a long swim. So I've sped it up just a bit. So you sort of head the route you normally would. And then go, when you come into this sort of area, head straight down. If you see where that door open and closes, that's the area where all the uh, bodily parts and sort of the, um, are the, uh, sort of, they're getting rid of human body part wastes disposal sort of area. And then you find this door. You can just pull this one down straight away, but for some reason I'm having trouble opening it. Or you might have to actually pull the top one and then this one. Just keep pulling the handle down, it will open. Swim through the underwater passage. And you will find the orb on the ceiling. Number 11 is the puzzle with the sort of platform where you need to get over to the other side. On this one you need to leave the platform at a 12 o'clock position. Straight above the room you will see why in a minute. Run left and then you get into this area where they're dumping all the bodies to the point of the floor where you can swim and then automatically you just need to press down through the door. So this puzzle obviously has two platforms. It has one underneath which you don't really see but on the, this is where you need to get it into a 12 o'clock position so you can jump out of the water and grab the orbis on the other hand. There you go, that's number 11 complete. Two more to go. 
this is number 12. So this one is where you need to complete the... Well, sort of get this sort of jump, jumping box thing, device up into the other room. And then you need to run all the way around. I've sped this bit up as well, just for quickness. Push the box over to the side. You remember my playthrough where I couldn't work out what to do? So basically you need to pull the button. Press the button at the top. Wait for it to come down. And then press it again. As you jump, as you go up. Press the button on the wall, the red button again to make it come up, and then just jump onto the platform. Simple enough, but I couldn't work it out. <laughs> and there it is on the right hand side. To get out, the thing will just uh, drop down automatically. And there you go, that's number 12. Number 13 is the L lift puzzle. This is the last one. You need basically need to get to the point where all your sort of following people are at the top above, above you. You can see they're above you there. Bring them down as as you would to get past it. You need to do this anyway. And then bring them back to the lift. You need about three or four people maybe even five to help you that's enough you can just leave but close the doors so you leave some on top and some with you if you know what I mean just don't get them all together just split them up but you definitely need the but you need the other ones on top of the lift so you need to go down and then sort of go back up again once you've closed the doors go down and then that's it so the others are upstairs and you have the three here see that little rope there you, that's why you need the three down here or four climb up the cable and you have found this little secret hatch into this room and this is why you need the ones up here at this point because that is on the ceiling so you need to get them to chuck them up uh, get them to chuck you up sorry there you go grab the orb and it's done and dusted so that is all 13 orbs all through the game. I'll show you why you need to do all of these first before you reach the secret room that I showed you in my playthrough. It's right near the end where just before you enter the uh, sort of chamber with the massive blob in it. And you go up here where you see these wires, climb the ladder right up to the top and follow the wires along. And you enter another room. And you can, as you can see, the board has all of the lights lit up. If it doesn't have the lights lit up, then I don't know what's happened because you should have all of these lights lit up. I've showed you every single one. There's something you can grab in here. Just pull it to your left and then it will just disable this orb. If you look on the telly, there is one light lit. That is this location here which I showed you earlier which I pointed out earlier you literally climb down the stairs and you meet this little thing that makes a noise it's powered with this door now can you hear? so basically there is a code and I'll go through it with you now if not I will leave a um, sort of code in the description for you. Once you have the door open, just continue on through the corridor. I, at this point, thought it was only a little run, but it's quite a long run, actually, through here. So you just run through. 
what could it be? What is the final, final secret? And this is why I call it an alternative end because it's just before you free the, uh, free the blobs. You can either choose to free the blob or do this. And I like to think this is of a room as like where it controls all of. So you can see one of them mind control things there with all the leads running to it. I think if you pull that off, there's a sort of power device here. Just grab this and pull it. And you've basically damn powered the whole thing. And I suppose you have, well, in my opinion, freed humanity from mind control. That's what I like to think. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the guide. I hope you've learned uh, where all the orbs are. And now you can go and complete the game for yourself. You also get achievements for each and every one you collect. So uh, go and get collect them. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Koza and I'll see you next time. That's good.